Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 16 step by step CRUD tutorial series. This is part 6 of the series. If you have missed out on the first 5 parts, make sure that you go through them in order to complete and master Angular 16 CRUD. Today we will be doing the service implementation, which means we will be writing all the code that would do the functionality in the services. All right, so before we get started, let me demo you what we have built in last five episodes and we'll take it from there. The last episode was a little lengthy. I'm sure you have uh, able to achieve so far till here. We built a routing mechanism. We generated the components service and we built the da uh, mat table where we are able to display the data. We also put some mat cards. So that's the story so far and we have a sidebar which we can collapse and expand. Basic stuff, we are using Angular Material Design. Today we'll add some functionality to this table and then we start coding on the services. As always, at the end of this tutorial series, I will share the entire source code with you, but make sure that you practice along in order to master Angular 16. Let's get started with coding. All right, so I'm going to go to the credit cards component.html that's where we have mapped and recorded the table all right so what we had done in the last episode was we added the mat paginator and we also implemented this dot data source paginator which means we can add the pagination directly now so i'm going to use mat paginator that's what we will do it will take some options like a page size options what this does is it would tell what should be the range of that particular value it will be an array you'll write 5 10 15 20 okay one more attribute that it takes is show first and last buttons so this is to navigate through the first and last so i'll save it now let's go back and you see that we are seeing that 5, 10, 15 options right here along with this buttons. Right now we don't have enough data so we are not seeing so I'm going to go ahead quickly copy the data without wasting time. I'll copy the code of this data as it is to create number of records. But mind that this data will actually come from our actual API or the database. So now we have enough data. So if I go and do page 10, it's showing it's working as expected. I can make it 5, 10, 15, whatever amount. I make it 5 and now you see next page, previous page, that option is also enabled. Right? Perfect. So, so far so good. Now they, we have 10 records. So pagination is working as expected. Perfect. So let's get to the writing to the code of these services today. That's the task we will try and attempt today and complete that. A lot of coding work, so let's get to business. So if you remember, we also created a folder and we generated an empty service, which is credit cards.service.ts file. It's a basic one and to generate, we just used ng generate service followed by the service name. Let's go ahead and implement the functionality. So in the constructor, what we will do is we will require client. So we are going to say tp client, we'll import it and we will add it in the constructor and make it http client. Right? That's all we need on the constructor. Now let's go ahead and create the CRUD functionality. Right? So we will so these are the methods that will actually be talking to the API. So one of the good practice is let's have a private API URL. This is what will be the URL which we created through local host, right? In our DB, I'll just show you that also. So let's create four methods, say create credit card. This would add a new credit card. All right. And remember, that we have created a model also if you see credit card interface so let's bring it into the service and create the data type so we will write import 
credit card from the model and we are saying whatever data we will deal with right is of type credit card right so we are going to say credit card and this will be let's make it as observable now what we are telling here is that expect data to be of this type and if you see here it says a function whose declared type is invalid so let's check on that observable because we are not returning so let's return that and that should be fine so we are going to say this dot http client or you can short you can make it http if you like that's up to you and we are going to say post the data which is of type credit card and we will send the data right so we will say this dot api url comma we will be getting the data from the form that we will push so we will send that to the api okay take a look at this method it's simple we are saying when we call this method we will pass an entire object which is of type credit card and hence an observable in the post I am explicitly mentioning the data type and saying I am expecting type credit card. We'll pass it to the API and we'll pass the data. That's what post method does. Okay, that's the create method. Now similarly, let's go ahead and add more methods. We'll say get credit cards. This will retrieve all the credit cards that are there again as a good practice always bind it with the observable of certain data type okay in this case it will be an array because we are saying get credit cards it will return more than one so we'll say this dot now we'll use dot http client dot get so now we will say we are expecting data of type credit card and it will be an array and it's just a simple call to the API so we'll say pi dot URL this will return all the credit cards but now let's say we want to get a single credit card for that the method would be we'll pass an ID so we'll say get credit card by ID and obviously we will pass an ID which will be of type number okay and again it's an observable so because we are typing and we are saying it's of a certain type and here we will write return this dot http client dot get of type credit card and we'll pass this dot api url so and we will also pass a value this time right to the particular id so we can modify that url here and we are going to say constant url equal to we will append that value okay so what we are going to do we are going to say this dot right uh, api url so oh sorry it's a variable so api url and then we are going to put id okay so we are going to say slash dollar now again we'll parameterize it and we'll say id and instead of this API URL we are now going to pass only URL because now this URL has API URL slash that ID whatever we are passing this will get us a certain specific credit card perfect this is done now quickly on the same lines let's do for update functionality as well which is edit so here you will say update credit card now this will take two parameters one would be the actual credit card and the ID of it right so we can just say credit card of type credit card again observable of type credit card and this now we'll see again will form a URL same way like how we did here we are going to this dot API URL slash now I'm going to again parameterize and I'm going to say credit card dot ID right so I'm extracting the ID from this particular data that we will be receiving 
now that you have it just return and say this dot HTTP client dot it will be a put method put is nothing but to update the data again you will do a data type binding and you will pass the URL and the actual data that we received from this it's saying error because it should be capital C okay this is for the so here this is for get specific credit card here this method get all credit cards this is for create create new credit card and last we will need is a delete functionality so let's go ahead implement that also on the same lines I'm sure that you know what to do now you write delete credit card delete credit card and you'll again pass an ID of which credit card you want to work on so I'm going to say it's a number observable of type credit card and then we are going to return and say this dot HTTP client dot delete and again it will now this is a tricky thing you don't have to actually mention it because you can just say void also that's fine because anyway all you are doing is deleting it so form the URL same way exactly like here you will pass this dollar and say this dot API URL slash dollar mark ID that we will pass and here in the functionality in the what we will pass will only pass the URL it says error it says but now we are so we can just make this also void that should be fine because delete will not return you any data it would just give you a message right that's why okay so our service implementation is done now we are going to check on our database so let's go ahead and do that um, I'm going to open one more bash here and let's go to CD tutorials we are in our tutorials already learning angular 16 crud we are inside the credit card if you do LS we have the dbjson right that's what we started using and if you remember we have set up uh, the JSON server locally okay so let's go ahead and start that so to, to, to do that it's a simple command that I had earlier covered I'm sure um, if you have not yet covered that so make sure that you go through that so you'll write JSON hyphen server and followed by hyphen hyphen watch DB dot JSON so see now it says it's listening on localhost 3000 credit cards so in the API we are going to give the same thing we'll say HTTP localhost 3000 slash credit cards that's our API so all this functionality that we have written will point to that API because we are using that everywhere okay so these API URLs can be different if you are working in a real-time project but for now we are using this endpoint to do multiple operations like add edit delete and update that's all we need to do but if you want you can open postman and check that values also which we had done last time so if you do hit send you get the this is a get call that we are doing similarly you can send data and test for post put delete and patch whatever you want to work on that so far so good I think that's all we will cover today I'm keeping it short crisp so that you can understand follow completely so go ahead implement this service code in your application just follow what I have done all they are doing is returning just service okay today we have implemented only the service from now on we will use these methods inside the components that we have generated and patch with the real-time data okay that's what we will achieve in the next episode onwards
for now this is the application we are done with our service that is good and in the next episode what we will do is start integrating these methods into read all data which is our table right now this table data is static I will show you how you can call the service methods and make it dynamic we will also try and add some uh, colors etc and make it more elegant it's a continuous process I'll try and cover this as uh, quickly in 11 12 episodes but make sure the point is to learn to grow and understand how things work thank you so much for joining in this episode let's continue building this in the next episode thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode